Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack crack and addiction. We are continuing our celebration of our one year anniversary, and we just got something in the mail from one of our wonderful patrons. A shout out here to Mr. Ryan Butcher, the Butcher Man, giving three packs of Innistrad to Booster Therapy. So, what are we going to do with these packs? Well, we've got three patron openings. Uh, we're going to be busting open good old Core 2020, right here, and uh, we're going to start with one box, which means we'll start with one pack. Now, one pack will be going to myself, one pack will be going to Brett, and one pack will be going to one lucky patron, and we're going to find out right now where that's going, and we're going to bring in a lovely little sheet of paper here. We got all the patron names here, and all the corresponding dice numbers to see who gets the lucky pack. And we've got bonus stuff on the right there if, you, if you're glancing over there with my beautiful handwriting. Well, we're gonna find out right here, right now, who is gonna get what. Man, I'm so excited to do it. But before we do that, we've got our six-sided die here, which is going to represent what each patron will have a guaranteed opportunity to get. If you roll a one or a two, you are gonna get a beautiful Apex Hybrid. I know, I know, he's not the greatest card in the world, but that's why you get one chance at him. It's a guaranteed Mythic chance. If you roll a 3 or a 4, you get a chance at a Geist of St. Traft. If you roll a 5 or a 6, you get a Mox Tantalite. So everyone is a guaranteed winner. So you gotta take that. No complaints there. Um, I'm gonna grab a lucky D20 here. Here's our lucky D20. It's our M20 D20, which is exactly what we want or need. And all the names are on there, so good luck. We'll see who gets a lucky, lucky pack of Innistrad. We're going to grab this pack of Innistrad for inspiration. And that's going to be the one. So here we go. We're going to roll it. It is number nine. That's going to be pause. Pause with the nine. Sorry, not a six. Not a six for Josh. It's a nine. So sweet. Well, we're going to bust this right on open and uh, and see how we do. So pause. Good luck. Good luck, man. And congratulations. And once again, thank you to uh, to Ryan for hooking us up. This is uh, this is fantastic. I must admit, I did not um, preview what is expensive in here. I mean, obviously Liliana, if we get that, that's kind of a no brainer. Um, but I don't recall offhand what is um, super expensive in here. So let's just take a look. Well, there's a few pretty darn good cards in here, which we're hoping to get. So good luck, Mr. Paws. Oh, baby. And we've got a Heretic's Punishment. This is actually a card I really like. And I think we've got uh, we have something in the back there. Oh, yep, you always get the Grizzled Outcasts, the little flip cards in the back there. I don't know if this is worth anything or not. I guess I'll put up the total, but uh, it's actually kind of a sweet card. You can get kind of creative with that. I don't think it's a big heavy hitter by any means, but we'll definitely take it. So congratulations, um, Mr. Paws. We'll put that off to the side for you here. And then let's get right into our box. So we've got... Uh, Core 2020, I don't think I've opened this for a little bit. We've been uh, busy kind of cracking some other stuff, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty with Core 2020, but um, I think Chandra is still um, on top. Soren's still up there with the vampires. I don't know if that will start to fall off once, um, you know, rotation happens here, but I guess we'll see. So we'll start off with uh, Keegan. Keegan is getting six packs. One, two, three, four, five, and six, right on the nose. And he's been a patron with us for a while here, and we really do appreciate him. So let's jump right into it here. And then we'll also, if I can stay organized here, we'll roll to see which mythic you get for yourself as well. We'll do that at the end. All right, but we'll jump right to the good stuff here. Nightpack Ambusher, that's a great card. And a foil. 
a dismal backwater. That's a little bit of an inside joke there. All right, nice hit there to start us off. Let's put our, our slop off to the side. Um, but yeah, really excited to see what's going to happen here with rotation. I mean, standard has been just bizarrely good. Just a lot of good decks. Um, I guess we'll see the dismantling of the uh, a lot of the ramp decks that are out there. Leyline of Abundance. Especially with scape shift rotating. I mean, I suppose you can still do plenty of ramping, but um, that's obviously a pretty key card for that deck. But who knows? Who knows? People will find a way with Field of the Dead and still make something happen. Oh, nice! Our first mythic is going to go to Keegan. A Johnny Strength of the Pride. Nice hit. Very nice hit. Again, thank you to all of our patrons. Again, celebrating our one year, we wanted to do something. Kind of cool, kind of extra special. And I think this is a good way to do it. That way everyone's a winner. Guaranteed. And another ley line. Ley line of anticipation. That card, I think it's gone up in price. Again, we always display our prices in the bottom, but uh, I believe that's kind of snuck up. That card is, I don't know, I think that card's pretty awesome. Never mad to have that card. And the Starfield Mystic, your enchantment spells. Actually, you know, this is setting up, not, I know it's just at rare level, but this is really setting up for um, what's already coming here in Throne of Eldraine, and then with kind of a hint at Theros block coming up, that could be um, really a pretty effective card. Theros and all the enchantments and whatnot, so we'll have to see if they bring that back and what they do with it. All right, last pack for you here, and we're going to get a Hanged Executioner. This is one I've used in my Spirit decks. And a Foil, Eternal Isolation. And another Dismal Backwater. All right, Keegan, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We do appreciate it, but we still need to roll for our Lucky Mythic. What are you going to get? One and two, three and four, five and six. We're going to roll... You're getting a three. You're getting a Geist. A lucky Geist of St. Draft. Um, all of these, I believe, are either near mint or lightly played. So that is awesome. Boom. Add that to your total right there. Congratulations. All right. We're moving right along. Next up, we're going to go with one of our oldest patrons that we had on the channel here, Starbright. Starbright will have 10 packs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Good luck to you, Mr. Starbright. We thank you. And again, a special shout out to Ryan Butcher for supplying the Innistrad packs for our anniversary. We really do appreciate it. That is fantastic. All right, jumping right into it. Nice with the Knight of Ebon Legion. This is. An incredibly good card, and with Knights coming back, Knight Tribal in Throne of Eldraine, that will be interesting to see if that can stay nice and powerful there. Maybe a lot of mono black, uh, mono colors that are kind of being hinted at with this new set. All right, Thunderkin Awakener. And a foil, planes, beautiful. Always love to see our foils. All right, next up for you, buddy. Good luck. Uh, we're a little light on the Mythics, right? I mean, we're pretty early, but let's see if we can get another Mythic here. We're due for one. Risen Reef, we'll definitely throw that in there. And Tails End. The Tails End. Cool card. Um, I don't know if people maybe use that in... Um, I mean, I guess you could weirdly use it in a super janky standard, but maybe kind of cool in uh, Commander. Honoring some activated and triggered abilities. Uh, bag of holding. That's there for you. All you D&D players out there. Need your bag of holding. Just unlimited supply of holding. Alright, Starbright. What do we got for you here, buddy? We've got a Dungeon Geist. I love this card. Got in my spirit deck. Which has been... Uh, ooh! Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
Ooh, nice foil rare, the Temple of Epiphany. Wow, does that look sweet. Again, I've said it a million times, but I'll be curious to see what happens with these after rotation because lands are going to be light. Losing those check lands, I'm telling you, is going to hurt more than people think for a lot of decks. Lands coming into play tapped, so having some upside to it at least will give you some nice ability there. Uh, we'll see if we can sneak both of those in there. Those are actually really nice uncommons. Masterful replication. And another foil, Agonizing Siphon. Ooh, look at that. It's not very nice. Not very nice at all. But you know what is nice? Being a patron. So we thank you. Alright. We got a few packs left here. So far, pretty good. Mask of Immolation. Oh, ho, 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 Mama, there Mama, he is. So spicy a meatball. Ooh, big Mama Chandra. Coming in hot. Chandra Awakened Inferno. Boom. We haven't given you a great hit in a while here, Starbright. So you were due, baby. You were due. That is awesome. Excellent hit. And congratulations. That is amazing. All right, next up is going to be brought back. Bring it back. Bring it all back. Throw in the Noxious Grasp, too. So that isn't very playable standard card. A lot of people just main deck that card now. You don't even, <laughs> you don't even sideboard it oftentimes. Just with the styles of decks that are out there. Marauding Raptor. This is another really awesome card. And another foil. Infuriate. Get real mad. Alright, last pack. Well, you cannot complain, sir. You have done well. You've done quite well. Very, very good. Last pack for you here is going to be... Oh, another Mythic. Kaikar. Kaikar wins Fury. I wonder if that one will go up at some point. I kind of think it will. I know it's kind of... I mean, I don't know. Jeska is definitely a, a color that you can use, but I don't know. I think it's a pretty sweet card. Oh, man, you got to take that, especially with the big heavy hitter there that you got. Again, fantastic. All right, well, let's do our lucky... Hopefully we can see this on camera. Um, so, again, you're either getting the Apex Predator, the Geist, or the Mox. So let's see what you get. You got a one, so you got the Apex Predator. Let's bring it out. Roll-esque. What do we got this thing on here? So you get a bonus, a little bonus mythic. Everyone's a winner. These should all be nice and nice and minty there too. Sweet. Alright, Star Bright. We'll put you right up there. You go in your special pile. Uh, next up we have. Trolls, Troels, the Troll Man. He has been a fantastic patron of ours. Um, we'll be getting 10 packs here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 packs for you. Good luck. And once again, thank you to Starbright. And uh, good luck here, Trolls, 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 Trollies. We don't know how to say your name, and you refuse to tell us, so we're just going to butcher it. Oh, not the Sphinx. You know how I hate the Sphinx. All right, we got the Sphinx. We'll take it. We'll take our Sphinx. We'll take it or leave it. All right, next up, what do we got? Winged Words, Season of Growth. We'll put that in there. That's a great card. And Lotus Field, sweet. Man, oh man, are people cheating this already? I don't know. I mean, I feel like you definitely can in some uh, EDH decks, I suppose. Or even some other things. Just use Crucible of Worlds and bring cards back. That's definitely one way to do it. Put that in there for you, too. Agent of Treachery. This is one of my favorite cards. Do a little Yarrick combo with that. Get the double trigger, bounce them back, put them back into play. There's all sorts of fun things you can do with the Agent of Treachery. Because that's what he is, after all, an Agent of Treachery. Ooh, Dread Presence. Kind of a cool card, honestly. You know, just maybe too costly in mana, but it's uh, little passive abilities there. Maybe passive uh, triggered abilities, rather, are actually pretty decent. Hail of Summer. 
Chandra's regulator. But yeah, lots, lots to come. Again, we never know the order in which we're going to do some things, but I'll show you what we got behind, uh, rather in front of the camera here as well. Leyline, not the one we want, but Leyline of Combustion. We'll still take it. We'll always take a Leyline. What do we got here? Three Leylines? How many have we gotten so far? How many have we done? Temple of Melody. Ooh, and a healer of the glade. All right. Getting down there, you got a few left here, but remember, you get a guaranteed mythic no matter what. Hopefully we can give you a regular one, the old-fashioned way. Legion's End, that's another awesome rare. And I don't know what it's worth currently, but that is an incredibly effective card. Just Honestly, I don't even know if it's underrated anymore, but I feel like people really underrated that card when it came out. It's all the aggro decks that are out there. Pyromancer, Rule of Law. Oh, nice, Safara, Sky's Blade. Nice for your little flyer decks out there. All right, last one here. Last pack for you. Then we get to roll the dice to see what you get. Spectral Sailor, that's a good one. And Shared Summons. Definitely not a great card by any means, but hey, that's what you get. All right, let's roll our die. So again, you've got uh, Rollesque for one and two. You've got Geist of Saint uh, Traft for three and four, and you've got Mox Tantalite for five and six. Let's see what you get. You're going to roll a three, which is the Geist. Nice. You get a beautiful Geist. I scooped a bunch of these up. Um, I don't know when, but I scooped them up. I've just been sitting on them here, so you might as well give some of them away. It's a sweet card. Really, really fun card. So there you have it. Thank you, thank you once again. We'll put you up there in the corner. All right, last up, we've got Cole. We've got Cole Collins. He'll finish us off here. Make sure we have the right count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Got a 10 stacker here. I think we're due. I think we're due. We're due for some hot mythics here. Maybe a foil mythic. So good luck, Cole. Good luck. Oh, nice. I love this card. The Steel Overseer. I have a, a personal love for that card. We'll also be hooking Cole up with something else as well. We had a, a mailing debacle. Um, I don't know if someone swiped his package or what, but that's never fun. So I won't tell him what, but we're going to be doing something fun. Uh, we got the Temple of Triumph. Again, we'll always take our temples. Temples. Temples is good. They is good. Alright. Oh, the Drakuseth Maw of Flames. A super fun combo deck with that. I'm sure everyone has seen it, but if you get a chance to play it, um, particularly on Arena, um, I mean, you can certainly do it live. It's not a very expensive deck, but it's very, very fun to play. Ooh, Mu Yan Ling Sky Dancer. Maybe a foily behind as well, huh? Ooh, a Mind Rot. All right, nice Mythic hit. Very nice Mythic hit. All right, what are we going to get here? We're going to get an Embodiment of Agonies. And a Foil Air Elemental, an oldie but goodie. Love the Air Elemental. As, as Brett well knows, when I draft anything. I'm always going blue-white flyers every time. I just can't help it. Planner cleansing. The super board wipe. Oh, 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 I wasn't expecting it. Oh, and a foil rare again. Leyline of anticipation. Ooh, very juicy. Oh, nice dog. Nicely done there. That is sweet. Be an evil pack here. All right, what's going to bring us home here? 
Rule of law. Oh, no, yes. Honey, yeah, that's oh, a spicy a meatball. A little blurry there. There we go. Yarek the Desecrated. Probably my favorite card out of M20. Just an amazing card. Oh, man. Back to back. Amazing packs. Oh, I got to take that. I know we're running. If you're still sticking around, appreciate it. I know we're running long in the video, but we had uh, obviously a number of introduction things to do there and some shout outs. And uh, yeah. Gargos Vicious Watcher, and the Moreland Inquisitor. Ooh, he sounds just evil. All right, we got this pack and one more. Bring us home. Can we sneak in another Mythic? I think we can. Always good for bonus Mythics. Nice, the Rotting Regasaur. Regasaur? Regasaur. And the Grave Digger. Big old Grave Digger. All right, last pack, and then we got to roll the dice to see what mythic you get. See what magical mythic you will get. Eh? Eh? Nice, Scheming Symmetry. That is a nice, nice card. I don't know if anyone's really using it much, if at all, in Standard. I haven't really seen it, but EDH, that's an awesome card. Very political card. All right, Cole. All right, we're going to roll here your final lucky, lucky roll. Again, one and two is Rolesque, three and four is the Geist, five and six is the Mox. And we've got a two. You're going to get the Rolesque, whether you want it or not. There you go. Congratulations. And there you have it, folks. Uh, more to come. We've got two more boxes of Core 2020. And then we've got two more Innistrad to open as well. You know, ugh, am I going to be too greedy here? You know what? I'm going to take the lily pack. Brett's going to get this one, but both are going to have lilies in it. So there you have it. Thank you to Ryan Butcher once again for sponsoring these packs. Thank you to all of our patrons. Again, everyone will have their cards opened and shipped very, very soon. And until next time, this has been Booster Therapy.